Hey, in today's video, I'm gonna test out this new drywall cutting tool. I'll show you all about it right after this. Okay, what I got here today is a drywall cutting tool. Now you might wonder how this works and does it work? I don't know, I've actually never used this before. It's brand new to me. Now this is a paid sponsorship, so I am getting paid to demonstrate this for you. But as always, I'm gonna give you uh, my honest opinion about it and tell you what I think about it. So what this tool is, it's a ripping tool. For those of you that um, are in the trades, you know what I mean, I'm sure. For those of you that don't, there's two basic types of cuts we make on drywall. And that is the cut across the four foot width or sometimes it's 54 inches. But if we're cutting across the narrow side, we call that a butt joint cut. And uh, if we're cutting across the long ways, like this this is the recessed edge right here that's a rip cut so normally this sheet would be like 8 10 12 feet long whatever it is i'm just using a short piece here to keep it in camera and demonstrate for you now years ago i bought i picked this little thing up here i've used these in the past this is an old school version of this now what it does is these tools go across the, the drywall and they score it on both sides and they cut nice even straight cuts. Now you might be wondering is there really any need for this because I'll show you how we do it normally and I know you guys that are pros know what I'm talking about but actually I do like these tools a lot. Now um, one thing that intrigued me about this tool is that <laughs> the way this one failed this one was used and it has these little teeth on here that score the drywall Well, they get worn out and these are kind of worn out and then it doesn't work as well. And the, the way this one worked is you drug it across here and it scored both sides and then you snap it off. Well, when the teeth got dull, it just wouldn't work right. I was going to demonstrate this to you guys a couple years ago, but I never have because it just doesn't work well. So the advantage to this tool is it does a similar thing, except it actually cuts both sides with utility knife blades. So I think it's gonna do a lot better. Okay, first let me get into how we normally cut rips uh, when you're just cutting one or two. Um, because if you just gotta cut one four inch rip and you do this all the time, you might not wanna use this. If you're a novice, if somebody doesn't do it very often you're going to struggle with this technique i show you in that case this tool could make it a lot easier on you okay what we normally do is we just run our tape out and our knife and we cut now i'm going to use my pencil just to show you how it works and then i'm going to actually make a cut with a knife but if we wanted say a 10 inch cut we we hold our finger such that, so that that 10 inch mark falls right on the edge of the drywall we put our blade of our knife right against here like this. And with practice, you can make nice straight cuts. Now I'll go ahead and go, let's say two inches further. And you can see we can get some nice straight cuts doing it that way. But there's a disadvantage to that. And I'm gonna show you what that is. So what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna cut the recess off of here to start with. I'm gonna just cut three inches off. That'll get plenty past that recess. And the way we would normally do it is like so. We'd run it across here, pull it nice and evenly. We'd get to the other side and then we'd bend this over. Then we'd come back here and back cut it. I'm just scoring it because if you completely back cut it, it falls off. So I score it and then you can snap it off and see I didn't score it enough. And then you got your cut. Well, it takes a couple steps there. Which again, if you're just cutting one of a certain size, say four and a half inches or something, that's not bad. 
Now, where I see the advantage to this tool that I'm going to show you is when you're doing things like cutting the rips around windows. Now, typically, if you're wrapping windows, it's going to be around three, three and a half inches wide. Or if you're wrapping doors like in closets or door openings, anywhere you're wrapping doors, you often have to go through and cut 10, 20, 30 cuts the same width. And that's where this thing should work really well. But again, for those of you that don't do it often, cutting it like I just did there, especially if you're doing about 12 inches, a lot of you tend to go forward and backwards and your cut kind, kind of comes out really wavy. This thing should solve it. So the way this thing works is it has a scale right here. So let me see if I can give you a kind of a close up there. And you can see it's marked off in inches in this side and centimeters on this side and it's pretty easy to read and then this thing does fold up okay let's start out like you were transporting this normally it transports folded up like this so it's fairly compact and when you're ready to use it you roll this arm out here and it kind of locks in like that and then you slide this down until this part this upper part of the scale is on the mark you want to cut so let's just say we want to cut three inches it's got a little friction it's kind of snug tight but moves okay down there so let's put it on three inches tighten up both sides you set it lock both sides and now it's locked in place now this does still move but it won't go past those wheels so it's set in place now First, let me point out a couple of other things. The way it works is it's got two razor blades right in here. And you loosen these uh, knurled nuts right here, slide it out. Now, I probably got adjusted the first time. You're supposed to put it up here and slide it out till those blades feel like they're cutting the right depth. And then if you're doing half inch rock all day, you're good to go for the rest of the day. If you're doing five eighths, you set it a little bit more shallow so it will adjust to different thicknesses of rock and those are just a finger tight a nut on there you don't need a tool but if you do need a tool for any of these other nuts on here they do provide the allen wrench right here and they also have blade storage this little thing right here holds your spare blade so you don't have to go hunting down blades whenever they start getting dull and of course you can flip them around like normal as they do dole and by the way this is the zosen drywall cutting tool and i want to put a link to this in the description down below so if you're interested in it check it out down there so this little guide right here you can see it's it's basically grooved so it fits over your rock and you would slide it up here and check these blades to see if they seem deep enough and if I can quit hitting my microphone here. I think they are, but I'm going to have to do a test cut to see. So we're set at three inches. You grab it by the handle. And I've got it in my um, Rockwell jaw horse here. Because cutting a small piece like this, it would be kind of tricky. You could probably hold it. But on camera, I need to <laughs> kind of have this more uh, stable for you. So let's try this first cut across here. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. So let's go across. Now, if it's deep enough, here's what the advantage is going to be. If, let's see. Nope, the back side came out just a hair shy. So let me set it just a little bit deeper. Now there is two arrows. If you can see those arrows there, you line these arrows up and that kind of tells you roughly where you are. So I know how much uh, more I got to go. Okay, I reset that depth. Let's just try the same cut again. I should better go across the same one. And let me see if it... Yeah, it looks like it did better. So now we should better just break it off like that. Now let me do it again since I took twice to do that one. And let's see how repeatable it is and how quick it is. Once you kind of have the procedure down, 
in like any tool. It's probably going to take you five or ten minutes to kind of get the hang of it here. But we put it up here, hold this end down so it's not rocking. And it's going to squeak a little, I suppose, but let's just slide it. Okay, that was pretty easy. Now let's see how easy it breaks and how clean it comes off. See, now that's the advantage to these tools is the fact that they cut both sides at once. You could go down through here and just rip, break, rip, break. And you could cut these rips for your window wraps, your door wraps, whatever, all day long and get the same exact cut. Pretty dang clean because you're doing both sides. I really think it's a time saver. Hey, if you want to increase your learning power a thousand percent, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up. After you subscribe, look for that bell, click the bell, and you'll get notified of all the videos. So let me see uh, how quickly I can cut a couple of these just to show you where the speed I think will come in. Oops, I gotta hold my uh <laughs> gotta hold my jaw horse down because it's not heavy enough. So if that's not a time saver, I don't know what is. Now again, if I was just going to cut, say, one five inch piece, would I use it? I wouldn't, but I've cut a million sheets of drywall. If you're a carpenter, I've seen you guys, you get out your chalk line, you make a chalk line across there, you try and draw that with your knife, and I've seen it. <laughs> Maybe some of you are faster, but I've seen molasses run faster than some of those cuts, but that's because you guys don't do this for a living. And that's why I think this tool could benefit anybody like painters or uh, contractors, anybody that doesn't do drywall for a living. This is going to make cutting these rips so much easier. And imagine cutting 12 foot links or eight foot. You could run that, that down. The, you could run that tool down through there so fast. I really think it's going to save you a lot of time. Now, let me give you one little word of warning. And like I said, guys, I'm going to be honest about things. So I'm going to tell you, when I got this tool, it cut me. I got a scar right here. So let me tell you what happened. When it came shipped, it was all folded up like I showed you. It was in the box. I cut open this end of the box. Well, these were supposed to be retracted back in here. Let's see if you can see those blades. Those blades were supposed to be retracted back in there from the factory, but during shipping, one of them had loosened up and slipped out there and I couldn't see it. So when I reached in to grab this thing, I somehow stuck my thumb right up to that blade and it sliced me open. So I contacted the seller of this right away and I told them flat out, it's like, the way this is shipped to people is dangerous. And I won't even show it to people unless you make it safer. And I told them what I think they need to do is come up with a foam insert that goes in here so that when it's shipped, the blades can't vibrate out. Well, I want to tell you, this impressed me. Within like 30 minutes to an hour, they sent me a video showing how they already had come up with a foam piece to go in there. And that's how they will ship now. Now, a company that responds that quickly, that got my attention. So I'm willing to go ahead and, and uh, promote this to you guys. On the premise that you do need to be careful, I would, what I would do is come up with some marks on here, scratch them on here, whatever what works for you when you're doing half inch and what works for five eighths. Then when you're done, I would take and retract those back and then they're out of the way. And if you've got that foam piece that they're shipping it with, put that foam piece back in there because you don't want those vibrating loose. Now, granted that was a fluke and you know, it shouldn't have happened, but what impressed me was the fact that they fixed it and sent me a video of it fixed really quickly and I'll show you a little clip of that. Okay, hey, I forgot. Uh, let me point out too that this goes up to 25 inches. Well, you know, most most drywall is 48 inches wide. So this is going to allow you to cut your sheet in half or even more. And that 
that becomes really tricky even as a drywaller trying to span out 24 inches and walk across leaned over and make that cut without getting wobbly it honestly even for me it gets a little bit trickly trickly <laughs> tricky because you're trying to walk and hold everything steady so on wider cuts I can also see advantage to this well, hey, uh, I'll put a link to this, like I say, in the description. I won't tell you the price because I know these things fluctuate sometimes. So go ahead and click on that link. If you do decide to buy it, I earn a whole 3% on it. But everything helps. Anything you buy during that session helps. Hey, I got some more information for you right here. And hey, this month, I want to give thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys have been with me for a long time, some of you for years. And I really appreciate your support. Your support helps me put out more content like this. Thank you so much. Hey, you see these other things popping up here? These are clickable links. If any of those interest you, click on one. I'm sure it'll help you out. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody.